exactly six months ago I uploaded a video, Disappear for Six Months, where I laid out my plans to block out all distractions and focus on my three main goals. Number one, myself. Number two, my business. And number three, my YouTube channel. And maybe my handwriting. <laughs> for myself, I focused on my fitness and mental health. I went from not running the entirety of 2020 to running 60 miles in the last six months. Alongside this, I primarily did strength training and boxing just to get that cardio and to try and get a bit of muscle mass. Just overall, just to get in a better shape and have a better quality of life. And I truly believe that a healthy body is a healthy mind. So I feel a lot better now. I went from 92 kilograms to 83 kilograms, which is a total of nine kilograms lost. Nine, yes. Nine kilograms lost, which is a stone and a half for anyone who works in stones. I'm very happy with this progress. As you can see in my side-by-side -side shots that I put up now, from February to now August, I'm in a lot better shape overall. And three months of this training was actually done during lockdown in England. So as you know, I converted my garage into a full gym. So that enabled me to do training in there, as well as running to kind of get the strength and the cardio side of training. And then from May, I joined a public gym again and then started going there as well. And now for my business, I planned, pressed, stamped, engraved, checked, double checked, photographed, marketed, packaged up, posted, and well, got very stressed. <laughs> but after one year of planning, we finally launched in June 2021, which hits the goal of launching in the summer of 2021. I think it's done amazing so far. It's exceeded all my expectations for it. And now we're working on our second collection, which I hope to launch later in the year, probably around winter time. We're just overall just scaling the business trying to make it run efficiently as possible. Just learning as I go, because it's my first business. I'm still very new to this, but very passionate about it, as you know. And yeah, it's just going great. And I just hope this momentum continues and I don't see why it won't. And now for my YouTube channel, what can I say? I'm blown away. After two months, the Disappear for Six Months video had around 80 views. And then after three months, it had 100,000 views. Like. <laughs> YouTube's a trip. I don't know how it works. Obviously, it's got into the algorithm in some way, but I'm just so appreciative of the support. The positive and negative comments, I, I appreciate them all. The people take the time out of the day to comment them, support, and join in with the journey for themselves. It's more than I could have ever expected happen from that video. And I truly believe that that is why I have achieved these goals and succeeded is because of putting that video out there holding myself accountable so then when i make this video now six months later i had something to show for it instead of saying oh i failed at it i failed i feel like i've succeeded at all three things <laughs> i feel like i've succeeded at all three things which is that was the goal when i put in that video i wanted to reach a thousand subscribers i was so tempted to just put a hundred subscribers because i'd have truly been happy with that you gotta remember at the time of posting that video i had 10 subscribers and now, as of right now, I've got like 10,500 subscribers. It's just absolutely mind-blowing. And the majority of it is from that video. And I just want to just show my appreciation and my gratitude because you've enabled me to try and pursue YouTube now. After this six months is done, I've now got a platform to post content to, which is what I've always wanted. So I really appreciate that and it absolutely means the world. And now obviously I touched on this in my four month video, if you saw that, I'll pop that up now. Um, that was my four month progress video. I touched on it then about the social media, how I deleted apps that are classed as time wasters or life wasters or whatever it was, yeah, life wasters. And um, yeah, I absolutely did delete them apps. I stayed off them for around six weeks because I really need just detox and focus on my three main goals. But then as I started to get focused and I was working hard at them goals, I felt like I could slowly go back onto social media, but not be nowhere near as addicted with it as I was, where it was distracting us. And I started using it to actually benefit us, which is like promoting my business, and my freelance work, things like that, like using it in the correct way. So I think you have to just do what works for you. Cause what worked for me was having a cold hard break from it but then slowly implementing it back into my life, but in a healthy way, because the last thing you want is to be consumed by it and not focus on your goals. I feel like it's been a success for me doing what I did, but I think it works for different people in different ways. Like you could have six months of social media, but not achieve anything. 
what you've got to do is think the goals is the main point. You want to reach them goals. So then how do you do it? Cut out distractions for however long that takes you to do. It could be a week, it could be six weeks, it could be six months, whatever works for you to achieve your goals because that is the end goal essentially. And I don't want to make this a big cringe fest because it's like, it's a happy video. It's, I'm, I'm so excited to make it and actually have something to show because I was so stressed out that I wouldn't have anything to show. But I kept going because of the YouTube comments motivating is the positive and negative ones the negative ones of saying like oh it's cringe stuff like that and motivate us to keep going because i was like i'm going to prove you wrong <laughs> like this is i'm going to stick at this and i'm going to keep at it and i have and i'm so pleased right now and you know that youtube video when i uploaded the, the original disappear for six months that video now is getting like twenty thousand views a day and I, I get like sometimes 10 15 20 30 50 comments on it a day it's absolutely insane and I just hope that that video just keeps continuing on the snowball effect of people getting motivated, focusing on their goals. And I just, it was just a daft video I made in my bedroom, in this room. And just what it's turned into was absolutely insane. Like it's, it's helped me so much get to where I want to be. And look, you have good days and you have bad days. I'm not going to say over them six months it was plain sailing. Like I had days where I was up and down and up and down where I'd be like, I want to quit everything and just delete my YouTube channel, I really did. But then I just kept at it because I just slowed down the progress but I never stopped. And I think that's the key element here, keep pushing forwards. And I hope that this video helps people in whatever way. Um, some people might say it's cringe, say it's cringe, I don't, I don't really mind, like it's YouTube, freedom of speech, like I'm a big believer in say what you think, like, but if this just even helps just one more person this video, I'll feel happy, I've done my job. And let's not forget here, I made this YouTube channel to do graphic design videos, that's what I like, but I just did that six months video because I wasn't happy with where I was at in life at that time. So then I was like, I need to write down my goals, put this YouTube video up, hold myself accountable, so then I can make this video like what I've done now, I knew I would do it, and it's just amazing. This piece of paper here, <laughs> the original three goals, I have had this paper with me all over. It's been in my wallet, it's been in my phone case, it's been in my room on the whiteboard, it's been next to my laptop. I've kept it because scrappy piece of paper, but you don't realise how much it helps. If you want to do this journey, seriously, write it down, hold yourself accountable and even make a YouTube video out of it because you never know what might come from it. Like, <laughs> you just don't know. So yeah, just to quickly recap guys, obviously fitness, I feel like I'm on a fantastic track. <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm so happy with the progress. The business, I'm so happy that that's launching off the ground now. And obviously this YouTube channel, I feel like the sky's the limit with it. I feel like it's flying and it's all thanks to you guys. Like. I just very much appreciate it and I want you guys to know that. So thank you for being part of this journey. It's been a crazy six months and I hope to see you guys in the next video. See?